Good evening. Welcome to the Lippmann House. It's so good to have you um, all here with us tonight. I'm glad we planned this for tonight and not tomorrow night. <laughs> um, Louis Lyons, the man for whom tonight's award is named, first joined the Neiman Foundation 75 years ago in Harvard's very first class of Neiman Fellows. Impressively, he managed to accomplish that which many fellows have dreamed of but never achieved. He stayed here 25 years. <laughs> During Lyons Fellowship, Harvard's founding Neiman curator, Archibald McLeish, was appointed Librarian of Congress. And so the university named Lyons his successor, and he remained here as curator until 1964. Lyons, who had written for the Boston Globe and the Christian Science Monitor, brought important advancements to Neiman. Can you imagine a fellowship class without women, without minorities, without international journalists, or one that was limited to print? Neither could Lyons, who welcomed all of these changes during his tenure, paving the way for the richness of experience and skill reflected in today's Neiman Foundation. When he completed his run as curator, an award was established in his name, and that is the reason we are gathered here tonight. It was a prize to honor conscience and integrity, and is a distinction that has been awarded to some um, of the lions of our profession. Before you leave, I encourage you to look at that board on the wall. It lists all, um, all of the winners of the Lions Award. It includes Edward R. Murrow, Colombian journalist dead and alive who covered the war on drugs, uh, and Gunawan Mohammed, an Indonesian journalist of great courage with whom I had the privilege to share my Neiman year. Last year's fellows awarded the lines to Mohammed Nabus, who was killed in Libya in 2011 while reporting on the Gaddafi forces' attacks on civilians in Benghazi, and um, one of the most uh, moving evenings I've ever spent here was with his widow and his infant daughter who came to Harvard who, to accept that award um, on his behalf. Tonight, we add Mexican journalist Marcella Tarati to this panthe pantheon. We are honored by your presence, Marcella, and humbled by your work, about which we will hear more later this evening. I offer special thanks before we start to the Neiman Fellows, whose award this is and to Mary Beth Sheridan and to Finbar O'Reilly, the fellows who chaired the process by which Marcella was selected. The care and the wisdom that you all brought to the task was inspirational. And so while we are gathered to here to honor Marcella, I offer up a warm and grateful toast to my Neiman Fellows, a group of journalists I feel extraordinarily privileged to be among. So, to you all. Um, I'd also like to uh, welcome a couple of special guests tonight, um, to Bob and Nancy Giles. Bob, my predecessor as curator, so good to have you back here at Lippman House. Welcome. Um, and uh, to uh, Dorothy uh, Villarreal, can you just pop your hand up? Um, who is uh, president of the Mexican-American Student Association, Raza, here at um, Harvard Radcliffe. So good to have you uh, with us here tonight. So please enjoy your dinner, and in a little bit, Mary Beth will be up here to say a little bit more um, and to introduce our honoree, who we will hear from in a bit. So again, um, welcome to you all. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. 